Hello, in this video, I'm going to be talking about what is the friend zone? Have you ever been asking other women out and then they reject you or something like that? Or maybe there's a girl that you're friends with and you hang out and stuff and maybe you hang out in like her group of friends uh, you know, and you haven't plucked up the courage to ask her out. Now, she's going to put you in her friend zone, okay? Or another thing, you go on a first date with a woman, then, like, afterwards she stops replying to you. Maybe she blocks you on Facebook, that's probably the friend zone. Or maybe the other kind of zone is the creep zone, depending on... What just happened? Which, obviously, I will admit, I have been there and and things like that. You know, I have I have done those kind of mistakes. Um, send like multiple texts, but then it's just harassment and stuff. You know, I have done several wrong things to kind of. So to go from being like the guy she thinks she likes and then all of a sudden it just changes. It just just changes to something else, doesn't it? Hmm. So then how can you get out of the friend zone? I mean the best thing to do is just ask her out for maybe a second date, like go for drinks or something. For food, maybe. Whatever you want to do. And then, if she says no, there's no need to worry about that. I mean, sometimes it's better to ask out sooner. Like, say with some girl you regularly see at the checkout. Then, that way, you will be out of the friend zone much quicker, my friend. I mean, best thing to do, uh, like how I asked my girlfriend out, was... Hey, Sarah, you want to go for a drink sometime? You can say yes or no. And then she literally just gave the number. So if you add, you can say yes or no. Now, that gives the woman a little option. It makes her think, okay, this guy's not really pressuring me, you know, I can choose... So then, you know, basically, if you uh, ask that and frame it with the yes or no, then she's going to think, okay, yeah, this guy isn't one of those creepy dudes that's going to keep trying. Um, you know, she doesn't feel any pressure. She She feels quite chilled out about the prospect of being asked out by you. She doesn't mind. She's happy about it. Yeah, and who knows? She might just say yes and write her number down, which is what my girlfriend Sarah did. And thankfully, we've been together for nearly a year. Uh, I will tell you this. Uh, I know that there are some videos about high ticket closing, and I know I've had no comments, but this guy, who is it? Jay Not Telling. I will mention his name. When he commented on one of the dating videos, I decided I've got to make some more of those fucking videos. And uh, take some action on this. Because I know I've changed jobs recently and been complacent. But anyway, me and Sarah, we've been together for a good year, actually. Other names of girls are just either off the top of my head. Um, and in my last video... Um, yeah, Becca was somebody I just went on one date with. But Sarah, now we've been together a very long time. And that is thanks to HTC and uh, Dan Locke himself. And uh, you know what? I have tried some dating courses and some of them just didn't work. It might be the student. It might be that the teacher is just not right for me. But anyway, 
I mean, if any of you guys out there or girls think you can't get a girlfriend or boyfriend, then, you know, look at me. I'm not like a hot model or anything like that. You see, big, big fat girl like me, surely I can get a relationship. You know, um, obviously I've been in it for like a good over a year now and it's 2020. So where we're at now is like nearly over, must be nearly over a year almost, like one year and a half, but I lose count. So fucking happy at the moment. <laughs> and um, whatever any of you are going through at the moment and you feel like there's no hope of ever getting out of the friend zone. You know, there are some guys that probably look, you know, kind of average, a bit like me, average looking guy. If an average looking guy can get himself a girlfriend, you know, and she doesn't have to be one of those hot ones, but let's, you know, let's see if I can't, then hey, there, there is a problem. But, you know, since, hey, I, I can, then, see, then maybe, maybe you can. Like, just because no one is interested does not mean that there is no hope of you ever getting a girlfriend. No. But here is a, a valuable thing. If you are in the friend zone right now, then um, I'm going to suggest a kind of technique from Think and Grow Rich. It is and basically from any goal writing experience that I recently learned. Um, it is now 21st of July 2020. I am now free of the friend zone. And I feel happy that I woke up this morning and I'm so excited to be meeting this new girl and she's really into me so basically if you have any goals like that right in the present tense um it's what i can say and uh i know none of you probably read any business books like thinking very rich but this is something like a bit like auto suggestion that if we put the auto suggestion into the present, like it has already happened, then somehow you are going to find a way out. And as Jen Sincero would say, you know, like even though you have that goal, you're not meant to know how to get there. Because when we're thinking of the how, how do I get out the friend zone? Then you're thinking about it too much, letting it get to you, and then thinking, wait, how do I get out? Because uh, the friend zone can be a very ugly place. I mean, to be chucked there and, and to reject someone, it's kind of like you're just friends or you never see each other, or no, that never happens, really. Okay. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon.